times when people want to lose body fat, they tend to eat healthy and count their calories. While this is great because a caloric deficit is what you need to lose body fat, if you want to improve your overall body composition and look toned and leaner, this is what you need. Number one, protein. You can't just be eating healthy and expect your body to change. You need a specific amount of protein for your body for it to have the tools it needs to change. Protein helps you build muscle. The more muscle you have, the better your metabolism is, which means that you can diet on higher calories. This makes it a lot easier for you to lose weight currently and in the future. Your body needs a specific amount of protein for it to increase its metabolism. The protein also keeps you fuller for longer and has a little bit of a higher thermic effect of food. What that means is it takes a little bit more energy to metabolize and break down the protein in your body. So you're burning calories while you are digesting your protein. You are burning calories while you are resistance training. You are basically increasing your metabolism a lot more just by eating more protein. Second thing you want to incorporate when you are first starting to lose some fat is making sure you are getting enough steps. Why this is important is because this steady state, this very low impact activity does not impair your recovery from your resistance training sessions. It actually helps you improve recovery, especially if you've had like a grueling leg day and you're scared you're going to be sore the next day. But for people who have sedentary jobs, I oftentimes really, really recommend you at least purchase like a standing desk for your work that is um, that you can lower down and then bring up whenever you want to. It is important because you are working your postural muscles, working your slow twitch uh, muscle fibers while not really doing anything, right? You're just working. I actually have a whole video all about this. It's gonna be linked up here somewhere. Make sure to watch it after this video. But also what I want to say is if you drink more water, you're just naturally gonna go to the bathroom a little more, which will unintentionally increase your steps as well. So that is your reminder to drink a little bit more water. Fat loss tip number three is progressive overload. A lot of people overlook this one because it is more of an investment type of thing where you don't see the benefits right away as you would maybe with um, taking steps, but you are going to get stronger and this will build more muscle. Now, progressive overload isn't necessarily just increasing your weights at the gym. It is also increasing your reps, slowing down your reps, maybe adding an extra set here and there and really pushing yourself to failure. So even if you are working out at home, like most of my clients do and are still seeing results, you can still lose fat with progressive overload. That's it for me, guys. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you next time. Bye.